What up, what up, what up, what up, my shinies? What up, my oldies and my goodies? Y'all know what we do. Y'all know who this is. This is Talking With Your Girl, Shani from the 414 area. I am back with another video, and today is St. Patrick's Day. I had to give y'all a video of the natural corned beef. Yes, take a good look, babies. Yes, that's what we do. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, thanks to the cook, I'll take my bow. Anywho, anyhow, let's say grace and we're going to get it in, okay? Father God, we thank you for this food. Thank you for prayer. Father, thank you for being in the nursery. We thank you for blessing in Jesus' name. We pray. Let the church say amen. <laughs> let the church say amen. God has spoken. So let the church say amen. I do believe I'll say amen. Yes, yes, it is right here. <laughs> yes. French fries, corned beef. Let me bring y'all a closer view. Get y'all a closer, closer. Yes, yes, a closer view. Mmm, have some. Have double. Have whatever you like, darlings. I don't mind sharing, darlings. Y'all, just pickle french fries, chips. But y'all, I'm going to have to put y'all on hold because I got to get me some hot sauce. <laughs> Apricadabra gazam, she bag. Yeah. Y'all, let me get a taste of this. I've been waiting all day for this. That's a half. Mmm. Y'all, it need a little more mustard. Look. Can't wait no more. And y'all know I had to put my green cup together. Yes. That's all I'm saying, right? Y'all have some. Y'all know what it is. It's my hold on. My sparkling water. Y'all know what we do. Y'all, what y'all doing on y'all St. Patty's Day? Y'all. Y'all. I had to have some french fries. They deal. I mean, deal um, chips. I had to put some hot sauce on them. Yes. They plain and they deal. I can't have none plain. They was an airster. <laughs> Y'all forgot I tasted them on the video Prior to my pre-St. Patty's So I had to shebang y'all Hold on, I'll put it on for y'all I'm back y'all, my king's not here So I'll take a Hold on y'all <laughs> My king's not here so I gotta put it the hat represent King. Yes, he ain't here with me. Yes, that's what we do. <laughs> Y'all, I'm just having some fun. Mm. Y'all, I know what it be a treat. Hold on. Mm-mm. Hold on. Y'all, she back. Sorry, y'all. I got a technical difficulties, okay? All right. I have to warm some stuff up, y'all. I don't need to be drinking this because I, when I drink it, huh, I get poor. But I hope everybody had a beautiful, fabulous Wednesday. So far, so good. 
moment. So, y'all, <clears throat> I don't have no desserts. I had one. I got to tell y'all the story about McDonald's. They got the best shakes. Y'all, that place was so jam-packed today. I went to three different McDonald's. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. You hear me? And they did me so wrong. I wasn't finna make no YouTube channel. I'm wasn't finna make a video with that foolery. They told me I can come back up there. y'all mm -mm. let me put my pickle on my sandwich but um hope all is well with you guys y'all don't forget to like share and subscribe if you are new to this channel please don't forget come back. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification button so every time your girl go live, you will know it. Y'all, it's an interesting touchy topic. But I want to talk about it. Because I can relate. I want to talk about it. Brother, Brother Kirk Frank. My favorite. And still is my favorite. Y'all, <clears throat> we need to pray. <clears throat> Somebody asked me what did I think about it. We need to pray. Pray. <clears throat> pray. Um, I can relate. I did a video this morning on Facebook. <clears throat> Don't come off your post. Stay on your post. <clears throat> Stay on your God-given talent post. Because I suck with y'all. <clears throat> but I can relate to it. Because so many of us that's in the church, sometimes we can't talk about it because we know, especially holiness churches and religion and, and, and um Pentecostal. We know the word don't say don't cuss by the throne. Bitter and sweet can't come out your fountain. We do know that. But there are times that, because I don't want to fear nobody. Because <clears throat> real issues, real life, facts, not opinions. I'm relating. So that's why I'm not going to talk too much on it. But related. So this video will be called Corn Beef. But story time will be Kirk Franklin and his son with related issues. I can relate. I can't talk on Kurt's story. I can relate to that man. I got, yes, when you got grown kids, you got a position in the church, you live in all that you know how to live, you giving your kids the world, they got a mind on their own. Not just kids. Adults. Especially when that kid got a problem with you. It could be some of the littlest things you've done. Minds. I have a 29, a 30 year old. And baby, he got himself into some trouble. And the first thing they want to do 
explain you. Uh uh. Uh uh. Setups. Them be the biggest ones because they know you. They know your weaknesses. They live with you. And they know your story. And a lot of people don't want to be real. Some is too holier than thou. I'm not scared of nobody coming after me. But I'm telling the truth. Because the Bible says shame the devil. I'm not saying his action was right. But I can relate when somebody make you my son. Your cheering take you there. On another level. You will go there. You will go there. If you don't go there and cuss words, you're going to go there with telling them with anger that you do something crazy. Because my son's standing every bit of almost six feet. Y'all, <clears throat> hold up. And I'm five foot. Five three. So y'all know how tall that is. But because I'm a single, I was a single woman, I told my son, me and him had many a days on and off, face to face. Yep. Anything I got in my hand, I let him know don't walk up on me. Real talk. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. It's the truth. So I can relate, but I'm praying. I ain't talking about that man. I'm praying for him and his family. For real. We want to hide it in the church. This is going to bring some other people out. Watch what I tell you. When you be real... Being real was to apologize to the world. He didn't have to do that. I hear a lot of people saying, you don't have to do that. He did not have to do that. But because who he is and what he stand for, he did the right thing. He didn't owe us nothing. But because who he is, who he served, that's why he did it. But Brother Kurt gonna bring some other people out. Watch what I tell you. This gonna help Bishop Johnny Ray. That's been hiding it for a long time. I'm sorry. Watch. God said, what the devil meant for your evil, he'll turn it and work it for your good. My related story is my son. I ain't got to say nothing no more. Something happened. Granny say you will understand it by and by. He's understanding it now. Yes, they are called the prodigal son kids. That's the spirit. The prodigal son, a lot of times, y'all know, I'm telling y'all, I wasn't going to talk about it, but I was like, Lord, you know what? I can relate. I have a 29 year old felt like I owe him something all because of something of a misunderstanding when I spanked his little tail when he was about 17 almost got expelled out of high school it's a root to the problem y'all And he just told me this about a year ago. But he was acting out. Holding it against me. Staying with me. In my house talking crazy. I put him out every time. Didn't care. Didn't have no mercy for him. And one gonna let him back in the last time. I had no other choice. I'm just saying. Real issues. Real life. Period. Testimony. 
his testimony for Brother Frank. And now he's going to get the help. Because not the whole world can pray for him. We can help change that. Asking God to close the gap. As I speak right now. Asking God to close that gap. Bind the spirit of division. That demonic spirit that's operating in that young man. That God will deliver and get heal him from whatever it is. From the root. Pluck it up. Destroy it. Because it's a root. It's rooted. For years. That stuff don't come overnight. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. My son. Don't come overnight. You just never know who you living with. I'm feeling him. My son did some crazy stuff, y'all. That's why I said I can relate. Real issues, real life, facts, not opinion. Facts. True stories. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I was in the church of holiness. Still is. Don't care who see this. I can admit. I'm going to confess to you. This confession time. He just did a confession. Ain't none of you. You, 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 you. Us. Pointers. Nothing about it. He did a national nationwide. It was a must. Because others going to come forward saying. Confessing it. Or oh, I cuss my kid out. Because we didn't get caught. We ain't got to worry about it. Lies. I'm, 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 I can confess. I ain't, whatever. Hell is a, you know, you know, I, I have said it out of contact. Yes, I have. And I ain't scared. I have asked God to forgive me because it was a year, many a years. It'll push you there. If you ain't where you already going through your own stuff, I real it's your real life. I can relate. If you can relate for real, if we get real, church folks, religious folks, say folks, whatever you want to call yourself, put a comment down below. If you ain't scared to be ridiculed in the church, certain positions stop us for confession. But God, God know what he be doing. He ain't do nothing. Brother Kurt know what to do. He ain't do nothing. And he gonna see he didn't do nothing. My son, try to tell people, share who y'all think, boy, gone somewhere. Share who she say she, okay. Try the Spirit, spirits by the spirit, rather be of God. There's nobody perfect. We striving, and I had to get on here to say something on my brother's behalf. Am I my brother's keeper? I don't know that man's story. I know that when I heard it, it saddens my heart. It saddened me. Okay, that that man took that young man took him out of character. An instant, I fell back and seen a flashback of my life. What I felt like when I want to help, be seeking out the help. What about you praying for me? There's seers in the church that can see. Don't ridicule that man. For real. It's just something he needs to grow and be delivered from. That's it. That's all. When that man are repenting of his sins and ask the Lord to forgive him, God gonna amend that. God gonna mend that that father and son relationship from afar. When you belong to him, he chasing those. The Bible says he chasing those who he love. A lot of us like to be. I ain't saying on that. I ain't gonna say nothing. I'm real. I got to be real. I, I'm confessing now. If it was a lot of others confess. 
It was just a secret confession. He, I mean, it's an open confession. He did. I can raise my hand. Like I said, I can relate to it. Pushing you kids push you to that limit. I never got pushed to that limit. But I don't know what that son did or said to him to make him pop off. But he, obviously he couldn't take no more. And I know what it feels like. When you can't take no more. Because I've said words out of contact. So this video is, am I my brother's keepers? Keeper, yes I am. Confession is good for the soul. So I'm confessing. Nationwide, global wide. Yes, you can go there. Is it right? Is that behavior and those words are right? No. No, it's not. He told you it's not. But it happens. But in moving forward, repent of your sins. And try not to go there no more. Cut them off. Period. I have to cut my son off. Period. And I have to pray for myself. So with that being said, I'm sorry this deep, hot conversation. Hot. Alert, alert. Am I my brother's keeper? Will y'all do me a favor? Before y'all go to bed tonight, will y'all pray for Kirk Franklin and his fat son? That God amend the broken heart. He said he loved it. If that be you and you got a relationship like that and you can relate, say amen. Don't be fake. Amen. I can relate. 29-year-old son, he been cutting up since he was stinking 18, 19 years old. I can tell y'all many a story. Went out the house. F you. I ain't, I, hey, I, I'm putting it out there. I'm just trying to tell you what they'll do. But he was gone down them stairs. Because baby, I had something in my hand. And I was finna, yes sir, yes sir, hey, yes sir, yes sir. You don't disrespect, that's disrespectful. But I do want y'all to know, there was a saying that my brother would always say. The preacher's kids are the baddest kids. Y'all know why the preachers and the church folks' kids are the baddest? Write a comment below if you believe, if you, if you know. Why? They the worst is because the enemy tries to use them to distract us from our post. Take us off our post. To stop us from loving on God. To embarrass us. To keep reminding us of something in the past. Ain't nothing out there for me. When you got a well made up mind to serve the Lord. That song, I sing that song. I love the Lord and I won't take it back. I love the Lord and I won't take I'm not taking that back. He said, lay aside every weight to easily beset us. Baby, I laid aside some weights. But when them kids keep coming and dumping that mess and cutting up, well, we to make you, I'm telling you, three step, two step, four, four. Like, you know, it ain't right. But baby, my mama used to always say, if I had you, I'd take you up out of here. I ain't going to do that. Nah, I ain't going to do that. God knows. I hope it don't get that far. The devil is a lie. You got you got this much prayer. Much is given, much is required, y'all, for real, for real, on a real tip. Y'all, let's pray for each other. Y'all pray for me. Y'all pray for me that I be all that I can be in these last evil days. I'll pray for y'all as y'all pray for me. And if that be you out there, you mother, mothers, fathers, and broken children, adult children, close your eyes. I'm going to say a prayer, special prayer for Kurt and his family and myself. Father God, we just thank you right now. We ask that you would come in. Lord, we asking you to forgive us for anything we might have said or done that was not like you. Father, we ask that you will bless Brother Kirk. Touch Brother Kirk wherever he might be. Lift his spirits right now in the name of Jesus. God, we bind the spirit of shamefulness right now. And Lord, we ask that you will continue delivering healing, Brother Franklin, in the name of Jesus. You said you love a broken, contrite spirit. Lord, we put that whole family before you. 
We asking you to touch that son, wherever that son might be. Bind the demonic spirit that's using and operating in that young man. Lord, I'm asking you to amend his hurt and his pain. Whatever it is, you said it's the little foxes that destroys the vine. But we asking you, God, we come to you, God. Nationwide and global wide, touching and agreeing all over the world. We asking you to uplift and strengthen Brother Franklin and his family. We ask that you amend the broken heart. We ask that you will bind every emotional disturbance right now in that home. And we plead the blood of Jesus over every accusation right now. And over every, God, every, uh, um, interview that this young man try to make and God speak evil against his father but we plead the blood of Jesus you said who can bring a charge against your elect and we thank you right now for touching and turning this situation around binding in it out of my shot bind the enemy up right now in the name of Jesus bind the spirit of division up God wherever it came from God close the gap of the enemy close the door under the little shot block the enemy on every hand God in the mighty name of Jesus what are you trying to use and got the next level that you got for brother Franklin and his family take him higher let this be a, a great powerful testimony to bring others out, God, where we've been hiding in God in secret. But Lord, we thank you right now for this is a confession time. And I'm asking you to deliver, heal, and deliver right now. I'm asking you to rest, rule, and abide upon Kirk Franklin and his family. Rest, rule, and abide in his house. Everywhere he go will be blessed. And God, we thank you for turning this difficult situation around. And Lord, we keep crying out for help. He told us in the interview that he tried to get his son help. And I'm asking you to be the help that that son need. Fill the void that that young man need in his life. Whatever it is, God, we bind the clout chasing God to try to sell his soul out. God, you said in your word of God, you said in the word of God. What shall a man prosper to gain the whole world and lose his soul? And so, God, we bind that greeting in the spirit of gluttoniness in the name of Jesus. I speak peace to that man mind. Brother Franklin, mind, I speak peace to that young man's mind. And we thank you right now for doing it and amending a broken heart. Amending, I plead the blood over that relationship. And God, we thank you right now for doing it. I thank you for a great testimony and a praise report. And I thank you for bringing Brother Franklin out on top. And I thank you right now for doing it in Jesus' name we pray. And Lord, not only as I pray for him, pray for other families that's broken and going through the same thing. That father, that mother, that other uh, adult child. We thank you right now for doing it in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Y'all, my work has been done. It's done. So I thank you right now. I'm asking you, God, to continue praying for him because that's what's needed. Don't talk about him. That's what's needed. But I plead the blood of Jesus right now. Over every interview, I plead the blood of Jesus over every broadcast right now, every social media, social account, every jokester that try to make a joke out of it, that the devil is a liar. And Lord, let others come forth and pray for this man. And we give you glory and honor in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Y'all, I love y'all with the love of the Lord. Man, walk, he love y'all again. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification button so every time your girl go live, that bell gonna go ding and you will know it. Amen. And to my oldies and my goodies. Y'all know what we do. Come on back. Go tell a friend. Go tell a neighbor. Go tell a foe. Go tell somebody. Go tell everybody. Amen. All right. Let's keep this cycle going. Don't let's stop here. Don't just stop here. Let's keep going. All right. And we plead the blood of Jesus over uh, T.D. Jakes and uh, uh, Pastor Kirk Franklin relationship because the son was saying some crazy stuff about that. The blood of Jesus. And we thank you right now. We pray for families. All right? Till we meet again, don't forget to check on somebody, anybody, anyone. Don't forget to pray for somebody, anybody, anyone. Don't forget to uplift and strengthen and motivate and always have hope tomorrow. Till we meet again, God bless. Goodbye, y'all. And I got to go. Goodbye, y'all. I got to go. Do, 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 do. Peace. Happy St. Patrick's Day.